Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to the Ramble. I've got the old uh, football manager in the background, just because, obviously, it's a football manager-related topic. You'll tell by the thumbnail and all that sort of stuff. Um, I want to talk about scripting, right? This this is an often talked about subject. For, I've seen in the community, and I've seen people talk about it on Twitter and stuff like that, and obviously, having my own football manager channel, um, I see it quite regularly in in the comment section. And I would just want to address it, really. I had a recent episode of uh, my Fort William save. I won't give you any spoilers, but go watch it. It's really good. Um, but, like, shit happened. Lots of shit happened. And I, there was quite a few comments in that, in that one video about how the game is scripted. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Basically, and it's talked about in FIFA as well, how it's scripted, right? I'm not going to talk of FIFA. Don't play it as much. Got bored of it. All that sort of shit. But um, I'm talking just football manager on this terms. And, and scripting is something that um, is a purposeful act by the developers of a game to influence the results of the game. So rather, let's say... You have two identical teams. Man United are playing Man United. Identical team, tactic, everything the same, manager and all that sort of stuff. If you played that game 100 times, you might get 33 wins for one team, 33 wins for the other and, and 33 wins for the draw or something along those lines. But, it, you know, it'd be pretty random, the results, because they're equally matched teams. What people suggest by scripting is that certain events are scripted into the game. They are purpose built, whether that's a late equalizer or conceding late or a red card late on or an injury time or something like that. And I think some of the people saying about saying it's scripted are or sort of saying it in a sort of jest way. Like, that, you know, it's always like, oh, that's so ridiculous, it must be scripted. It's like a Hollywood movie type thing. And that, that's fine. That That's a good way to use it. Um, but I know for a fact that some people do actually think the game is scripted. Now, let's deconstruct that. Let's take it back to the people making the game and Sports Interactive. And what would be... Why would they script it, basically? Why would they, in certain situations, script the game to have certain outcomes or whatever it is, okay? Um, what you've got to remember, though, is that to have that in the game in the first place, it's not a simple act of line of code. There we go. Bosh takes five minutes. The scripting is in the game. To script it is going to take a ton of work. The situations when it needs to happen, how it needs to occur, all this stuff. It would take weeks of work for coders to, to make a system that could influence the game at just the right time, but not too often, but just the right time, at just the right moment in the game of a season to happen, to sort of trigger the, this effect to have. So all I'm saying by that is that it would take a lot of work to put in a system into the game that would have an effect that scripting has, okay? So, like I said, it's not just a flick of a switch, two-minute job. So, assuming that, then obviously it takes work, therefore takes a lot of money to develop something like this. So, what is the benefit to Sports Interactive to put in that work and money to make the game scripted? And I've thought about this a lot, and there's none, <laughs> right? There's none. There's, there's no reason for Sports Interactive to put all that time and effort in to make the game scripted because enough shit happens in the game to make the game enjoyable. No, nobody sitting at home that plays Football Manager and sits there going, oh, I'm just bored of winning 2 nil every week. There's always random shit that happens, and you, you could maybe then make the argument that it's always scripted, but I think even that's a bit far-fetched, even for the Tin Fall Hat Brigade. But um, they don't need to, to put the time and effort into a thing to make a late equaliser happen or a penalty decision happen in the 91st minute to make the game more exciting. You're not going to buy next year's version because you had five late penalties given against you or straight red cards 
in the 93rd minute or something like that, straight red card in the first minute against your big rivals or something like that. That's not the sort of thing that makes you go back and buy next year's version. What makes you buy the football manager is because it's such an enveloping, massive game where you can write your own storylines and tell your own story as a manager and just have like world domination and all that sort of good stuff. So rather than just seeing something happen and because it's so unlikely or because it's so it's such a coincidence or because it you just going, oh, well, it's scripted. The game's scripted. They're, they're cheating people. They're, it's scripted. They, you've got to think of it from the other side and go, OK, why would they put the time and money and effort into making something scripted? And for me, and, and let me know if you've got a reason why you think it's true that it's good. If you really believe it's scripted, obviously I can't prove it, but if you believe it's scripted, I'd love to know in the comments how it is that it's scripted and also then why, because I think that's the big question, why Sports Interactive would add in a scripting mechanism behind the scenes that you don't see to the game. Um, because I... I've, it's racked my brains for like years because I've seen these comments ever since I've had a YouTube channel and I can't think of a reason why Sports Interactive would do it because the game is already entertaining enough. A two-all draw with a late dramatic equaliser is a you know regular occurrence in real life as it is in the game. I don't see any real difference. If you watch Match of the Day each week, all sorts of random acts happen in the last minute or the first minute or a dodgy red card or all the sort <clears throat> all these things that people say are scripted. I see regularly on Match of the Day and stuff. So I I don't see it. But if you truly believe, excuse me, <coughs> that it is scripted, let me know how you think it is scripted and how how then that affects the game and when, how often, how often does the script happen? Or and also how the why sports interactive would put that into the game. Because it could be that you think the game is actually really, really scripted. Like, it's much higher scripted. So all these late goals and early red cards and stuff like that might, in your head, might be scripted to make the whole game entertaining. I'd love to know your thoughts. And I just want to say, I, I know I don't really have to on this channel because you guys are absolute legends. And I have, like, I've I've maybe deleted two comments ever on my channel for being just, like, really horrible and evil and trolly and, and nasty and stuff. So I know you won't, but I just want to say, if you do believe it's scripted, leave a comment and please don't, nobody abuse and, and get into arguments with person. They're, they're, they're fine to say it's scripted. I'm not trying to start an argument here with people that do, but I just love to know your thought process. So I don't want anybody to jump in there and say, you know, start abusing somebody because they think it's scripted or not or the other way around or whatever. But I'd love some intelligent discussion about how you think it could be scripted or whatever. I, th I, th I find it a fascinating discussion. So let me know your thoughts. So, uh, yeah, I just, I, I think that's the biggest thing for me. I know it, I'm sure it could be done with a bit of work, but I don't see why Sports Interactive would need to put in that work and money to make it happen. Right, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.